So in today's video, we got a pretty good video. I got a new ad that just came out hours ago of Pierre Polyev and the conservatives that are showing the harsh reality of the life people had to live uh, since 2016 under the Trudeau NDP coalition. There are many people that are homeless and this is what this ad is showcasing. I also have a video of a certain location in Montreal full it's one of the biggest homeless encampments i have ever seen in my life i didn't even know it existed and on top of that in the city of the province of quebec there are cats that are going missing and a lot of these cats are just not coming back they're not ending up in the shelters so there's someone out there who's taking advantage of the fact that the cats are not afraid of humans instead of petting them they're taking them home and eating them so that's disgusting it's horrible if you're not aware that we don't eat our cats here you need to go back to your country dude asap Well, Yev describes a new passport, and it's so freaking funny. I had to see this video. Even Terry Fox had to go. Why? Because there can be no heroes but him. So he replaced these images in our passport with an image of himself swimming as a boy at Harrington Lake and pictures of snowflakes in honor of members of his liberal cabinet. Uh, <laughs> These cats are trying to get away from these uh, Nigerian and uh, people from uh, Haitians, I believe, that are eating the cats. They're, tr they're trying to avoid them. Those cats are all over the place in training, trying to avoid people, trying to eat them. <laughs> Look at what these cats are doing, man. This is just nuts. And there was some guy saying, this is a made up, this is a made up conspiracy theory that was debunked. A guy from the Democrats in the United States. How is it debunked? I've seen all, I've seen multiple videos of them walking with them in their hands. Geese. Doesn't make any, doesn't, like, it's not a conspiracy theory. We can see with our own eyes, bro. In this video right here, Pierre's trying to figure out where is the money going to come from to pay for this program that will cost $7 billion. And back then he was in the Privy Council and um, the guy who he's talking to, the finance minister back then, does, like that's two years ago I believe. The guy who was finance minister back then, they didn't know where the money was coming from. He was only aware of the cost of the program. 
that question is directed to who, Mr. Poliev? Anyone who wants to answer it. If they have one, anyone over there that is concerned about where the money comes from, that person could speak up. Maybe you could choose one of the witnesses. I don't know who uh, on their side uh, is responsible for this, but clearly they're getting the money from somewhere, so they must know where. <clears throat> Anyone here from Finance Canada? I see Mr. Baylor. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair I, 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 can, I can provide a, uh, a high-level uh, response, but uh, I'm afraid I won't be able to, uh, to answer uh, directly uh, the honourable member's uh, uh, question. How can you be the finance minister and not know where the money is coming from? Uh, be, be, because we're, we're here to, to discuss. And, and what I can say uh, with regards to the cost of the measures uh, in terms of, of part one, um, the, the three first programs that, that I, uh, I mentioned, the, the hospitality, the tourism and hospitality recovery program, part businesses recovery program, uh, and the local lockdown program have a cost of three point uh, two billion. And and where's and, sorry sorry, Mr. Mr. Baylor, where's the money coming from? Uh, well, Mr. Chair, that that is uh, within the, the government's uh, broader macro uh, economic framework, and and I'm not I, I'm not uh, I respond I, I can't I can't speak to, to that. Uh, so so you question. don't have anyone? It's just that we're we're being asked to vote in favor of another seven billion dollars of spending. And the obvious question is, where is it coming from? Mr. Chair, as I indicated, I, I, I can discuss the contents uh, of the bill, and I, I appreciate the question, but I, I, can't, I can't answer that, that, that question. You don't know where the money is coming from for the program that you're authorizing? All you know is the money, it's how much it will cost, but you don't know where the money is coming from? Jesus. No wonder he's not there anymore. What an idiot. Well, it... it Somebody's paying for it. Who is it? Did the tooth fairy? No answer. We're here uh, respectfully to uh, to answer questions to uh, to C two as we study. Right, C two has a seven billion dollar bill. That's the price tag. Right. That's what I'm asking about. Where's the seven billion coming from? Like, there's a lot of a lot of people are willing, willing to talk about how they're spending the money, but no one wants to talk about where it comes from. How many witnesses do we have here? We have the number, Mr. Chair. Ten. Is it ten? Ten witnesses. Ten witnesses to tell us about how to spend money, but not a single one to tell us where the money comes from.